He's a whale shark! Ah! <laughs> That's great! Woo! Hello everyone and welcome back to Operation Apex, where we're doing the final mission, which could be a great white shark, I'm hoping. I got my fingers crossed. Let's go! Just get my ears absolutely destroyed there. Okay, let's go. Boo! <laughs> Rig in a day. Wow, did this just start off ominous? Here we are, back at column 239, where we had our little encounter with a rather large great white ah. phantom. Now, the investigation here is simple find evidence of the great white, then. If it's here, somehow get both a lure and a scan. Once we've done that, it'll be logged, tracked, and protected by Curio. Okay. You'll have done all you can for this incredible specimen. I don't want to go outside, though. This could be a very large needle in an even larger haystack. What? I've marked an area that is typically teeming with schools of fish. It'd be a good start looking there. All right. Well, we got plastic bags. A lot of plastic bags. Is that how it how they work in the wild? They just <laughs> a wild plastic bag appears. <laughs> Ooh, ooh. Fleeing tuna sighted. Look at that lot go. An apex predator spooked them. That's for sure. Here's hoping it's our phantom. Shouldn't I like you know also be going away as well? This area seems to be prime hunting ground for tuna fish. It would be worth getting as much data from them as possible. They're one of the fastest fish, so bringing them close and scanning them won't be easy. Four readings should be enough. Okay, I can do this. Hold on. I'll get me sardine shoal. No, that's an amber jug. Wait, where's my sardines? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I got me sardines. Woo! This is gonna be interesting. Oh God! Don't look down. It's just a Getting big. Getting data on this great white. Well, it's gonna be. It's gonna be quite the find. That rig's been in service for a few years now. Let's hope it holds up. Okay. Here you go. I'm gonna scan you. Tuna lured. Okay. Now let me scan. Hold on. I want to get into the light. Yeah. Just like being on the streets. Except for you're at the bottom of the ocean. Right. No, that's not what we want. Cut. Here's a whale shark! Ah! <laughs> that's great. Oh! Jesus. All right, yeah, no, oh, enough of you. Stop, please. There you go, sardines. All right, let me scan you. Yeah. Uh, oh! Another one, please. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, he looks so cool. Okay. Uh, another one. I'm going to put the lure there, all right? So you're going to have to come through me to get to the tuna. I mean, the uh, sardines. There you go. Okay, there's another one. Oh, no, you don't. Swim that way. Ah! You're almost there. Come on. I'm ready for you. Chew sardines down there. There you go. These readings suggest that their stress levels are high. And they're somewhat skittish. Most likely something in the area has disturbed them. Yeah, the great white shark. <laughs> Obviously, I thought we already While knew the that. Network in the area might be knocked out. The relay should still have cached recent information. You never know. Another user might have managed to log into the dive site and update the research logs. Okay, well, off we go. So, we've concluded. Oh, wow. Look at them down there. Oh, that is cool. Can I go down there? A bit nervous, not gonna lie. These are sardines, right? But that is a predatory fish. Ooh. Okay, anyway, uh, let's head to our objective before we get attacked by a great white shark. Oh, I do like to live beside the seaside. <laughs> I got maracas. Nothing. 
Nada. Finally. Zilch. Not a sausage. No drones have been here since us. It looks like you're on your own. I'm on my own, Emma. Whilst we're investigating the hardware, we should really get an assessment of the damage. Fancy a spot of engineering? Oh, yes. Oh, God. Woo. And see if you can identify what's gone wrong. Oh, that really messed with me there. I was like, I'm going to fall. Oh, yeah, it did it again. Oh, this is weird. Oh. It's falling apart. Follow the relay feed cable. Well, I don't know what you want to do there, but it's broken. Oh, I'm no engineer, but I'll bet cables bitten in two are not good for the network. I wouldn't say it was bitten. The archaeology team must have somehow ended up with the cable Oops. trailing across the trench. And that tooth left behind gives us a clue as to the guilty party. What tooth? I don't now, if our phantom has come through here, it will need to have eaten. Oh, that one. Check the seabed and see what evidence you can find. Is that a tooth? Hold on, I want to grab it. Where's me grabber? There. Is that another tooth? She said that oh, there's a tooth left behind, and I, I don't see it though. Right, you. Off we go. See this is. Data on this great white. Well, it's going to be, it's going to be quite the find. Yes. That rig's been in service for a few years now. Let's hope it holds up. <gasps> oh, man. This tuna found itself on the wrong side of something big. Something in a rush, too. Didn't even stop to finish it. I thought I saw some carcasses earlier. I've marked the zone on your radar, so go check it out. Oh, can you do it? Oh, there you go. Really important <laughs> findings you're making. There can never be enough eyes on the ground or in the water. Literally nobody knows what you may end up discovering. A great white shark. You've said it like a million times. Right, so we're going to go over this way. Ooh, so it kind of it does remind me of the um of like Robinson with the scanning, but also a uh, time machine as well. There's nothing wrong with that. They were both fun games. I quite enjoyed them. I like how you you never got a single speck of rust or anything on you, and how far down are we? That's impressive. Right, okay, car carcasses. Oh! <gasps> oh no! Oh. These are um, sharks that have been shot well finned and have just been left to die because that's what they do they cut the fins off them and just throw them back in the water it's horrible the good the only good thing is sharks can't feel pains in their fins so but it's not good it's not good at all you definitely won't want to see this we lose around a hundred million sharks each year to shark finning mainly for soup would you believe if it's not awful enough, then consider that the sharks aren't even killed. Yeah. Their fins are hacked off while they're still alive. And they're pushed right back into the water to float down and slowly, Ooh. helplessly drown. That was weird. Yeah, because... It's, it's time to see if we can find our great white. Head to the shark perch. I've uncoupled the relay for you, so when you reach the radar zone, be sure to swim up. And on that happy note, let's find the great white shark. Yeah, because like, oh, that's a big shark, isn't it? It's stupid, isn't it? It's absolutely ridiculous that people would do this just for shark fin soup. But it's just greed, it's money. It's an absolutely horrible practice. It's like killing elephants for their uh, ivory, for their trunk, not trunks, um, for their uh, tusks. Because the shark needs to swim in order to breathe, to pump water through its gills. So once it's thrown back, it just sinks to the bottom or gets eaten and just drowns. Horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. Thank you, game. <laughs> I mean, really, it's stuff like that that you just have to see. Like, it happens. And we turn a blind eye. But then it's like, where do you stop? Because 
You eat bacon, pigs are slaughtered. You eat burgers, cows are slaughtered. Do, do like, where, where do you stop? That's a thing. Like, that is, that just unnecessary to kill sharks like that, and not even to eat the whole thing. That, that's just waste at the end of the day. <laughs> but no, really, that's horrible. Uh, okay, are we here? Is this it? What, what, is this, oh, is this what remains of my cage? I know this is going to be a trigger for the Great White. It's just a matter of, I need to look at it a right way in order for it to trigger. To be honest, this is the first time this game's released, so there's going to be a few little bugs. Oh! Oh! Okay! <laughs> it's like, swim up? Oh! <laughs> I'm coming! This should be a good distance from the seabed. And judging by the data you've collected, it'll give you the best shot I at see him. our mysterious great white. Can I just like... Can, can you see anything? Yes! He was up there! Use the lamp on your scanner. It's the only chance you'll have of catching sight of it in the turbidity. What do you mean? He was up there a second ago. Oh! There, it is. there he is! Right there. It must be over six meters long. That's got to be bigger than anything we've got on record. Get a bite from it. Quickly, bring up one of its prey. Don't lose it. Hold on. Tuna, right? Tuna. It's got to eat tuna. Go over that way. Oh my god, he's swimming upside down! <laughs> Did you see how it closed its eyes just at the point of biting? I saw how it's swimming on its side! ...to shield themselves while they wrestle their prey. Okay, we've got data coming through soon. Keep it in sight. Okay! Now you'll have to scan it. This will be as difficult as it gets, because you'll also have to draw it in close with a mimic. It won't be easy. Oh! Hold on. Yeah. yeah! We got it! She's a sheep! And what's more, she's pregnant and has been for nearly 10 months. She's about to give birth. The low reserves of oils in her liver show that she's been on the move for most of that. Probably spooked by all the fishing vessels in the area. We have her scanned and logged now. Hello! She'll be tracked, protected, and able to have her pups in safety. Time for oh, you to log cool. out and get back to your own world. You've done something incredible here. Oh, that's it! There you go, discoveries. 8 out of 11, 8 out of 14, and 10 out of 14. Well, there's a lot of fish that I didn't do. Is that it? Hold on! Is that the whole game? <laughs> as soon as I did that, the thing crashed. Oh. Well guys, that was Operation Apex. A nice little um, sort of educational game that teaches you about like the pollution and things that are going on in the ocean like shark finning and stuff like that. So if you enjoyed it, leave a like. That was really fun. I very rarely get to um, record uh, VR games, but that I kind of wanted to do that one as soon as I saw it. I was like, oh, I gonna swim with great white sharks? Hell yeah! <laughs> so if you enjoyed that video, guys, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye. <laughs>